Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, a, um, a version of uh, the chain rule, uh, which uh, is going to enable us to uh, differentiate uh, powers of functions. Okay, so uh, what we uh, have seen or what we know by now uh, is uh, we have uh, said that the derivative of a power of x is obtained by multiplying by the power and subtracting one from the power. Now the question is what is going to be the derivative of so suppose we want the derivative of a uh, power of x so imagine okay maybe let me write the function first suppose we have got g of x and then g of x is raised to the power n so instead of just x to the power n we've got g of x to the power n so the question is what is going to be the derivative of this thing and the chain rule answers that question so um, according to the chain rule what we do here is we realize that uh, this has got two layers of functions there is this function here which we're going to call the inner function and then there is this function here which we are going to call the outer function. So whenever you uh, have to evaluate this, you first start by evaluating this, which is your inner function, and then you raise it to the power n. So that is why the power of n is the outer function. Now, the chain rule says whenever you have got uh, this type of situation, you start by differentiating the outer function. So in this case, outer function is power of n. To differentiate power of n, we multiply by the power, which is n, and then we subtract 1. And then what we're going to do then, we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is uh, dg, dx in this case. So the chain rule uh, tells us that... Uh, Whenever we have got this uh, situation, then our derivative is going to be given by that. All right, so let's uh, look at a few examples then. All right, um, so we're going to go through these examples here. Uh, in A, we have got uh, y equal 2x cubed minus 1 all squared. Um, so that one we're going to do it using uh, two approaches uh, just to demonstrate the um, or to confirm that the chain rule is indeed giving us what it should in the first example uh, in the first method we are going to expand first so since here the power is 2, we can expand that thing. So when we do that, we're going to have 2x cubed all squared minus 2 times 2x squared times 1 and then plus 1 squared. Um, so this thing is going to give us 4x to the power 6 minus 4x squared plus 1. And so the derivative from here is going to be 24x to the power of 5 minus 12x squared. Okay, so that's the first method. Um, now in the second method, we are going to use the chain rule. Okay. So the chain rule says uh, you have got uh, an outer function 
and then you've got an inner function in this case uh, the outer function is the power of 2 um, so that is our outer function and then this is our inner function so the derivative then is going to be obtained by multiplying by the power so multiply by 2 when we're differentiating this we keep this fixed so 2x cubed minus 1 then we subtract 1 from that power okay so we, we don't differentiate this and differentiate this at the same time then gonna multiply now by the derivative of that derivative of that is going to be 3 times 2 which is 6 we're going to subtract 1 from the power so 3 minus 1 is 2 um, let's uh, remove brackets here so 6x squared times 2 is 12x squared times 2x cubed minus 1 then uh, 12 times 2 24x squared times x cubed is x to the power 5 then 12x squared times negative 1 is minus 12x squared now you're going to notice this is exactly the same uh, answer that we got using the method of um, uh, expanding first okay now let's go to part b part b we have got a similar function but this time the power is 12 so that means if we wanted to differentiate this using method 1 by expanding it's going to be a lot of work because uh, this power is 12 it means the binomial expansion is going to give us 13 terms so we're not going to go that route so we're just going to use the chain rule this time so we multiply by the power first when we are multiplying or differentiating the power keep this as it is subtracting one from the power that is going to give us a power 11 then the derivative of this is going to be 6x squared as before then in terms of simplifying here um, this and this we can multiply but this and this we cannot multiply because this is to the power 11 okay so i multiply this times that 6 times 12 uh, is 72 x squared so that is going to be our derivative yeah so just to emphasize here um so in mathematics we multiply any two terms if either the bases are the same or the the, the exponents are the same so remember a to the power m times a to the power n is a to the power m plus n so here if you take these two for instance the base there is 6x squared the base here is 2x cubed so we cannot multiply those two um, so we multiply either well where the base is the same or if the power is the same okay so like uh, this one and this one um, they are both to the power one if you make this like that <laughs> yeah so in fact when we multiply these two we multiply the 6 and the and the 12 because the x squared just goes through the multiplication so for us to multiply any two terms either the powers must be the same or the bases must be the same right now going to example number c so in example number c we have got uh, h of t uh, so we've got h of t is the square root of 
uh, 3t to the power of 4 plus 1. The first thing I want to do here, we're going to write this as a power. So 3t to the power of 4 plus 1, all raised to the power half, because we know that the square root is the same as the power of half. Then the derivative of this, now using the chain rule, is going to be, so again, um, first thing we're going to have to do is differentiate the power. When we differentiate the power, we keep that fixed. So to differentiate power of one half, we multiply by one half. This remains exactly as it was. Then we subtract one. So we uh, have differentiated the power now. Then now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which in this case is 3t to the power 4 plus 1. So that one is going to be 12t to the power 3. And then this and this we can multiply. So this is going to be 6t to the power 3. 3t to the power 4 plus 1. All raised to the power negative half. We can leave this like that, or we can write it as 60 cubed, all divided by the square root of 3t to the power 4 plus 1. All right, uh, in D, we have uh, r. Let me just check what variable we're using there. Yeah, so in D, we've got r of u. Um, R of U uh, equal to um, 7 minus 2 U cubed to the power 3 over 2. Just confirm. Yeah. Okay. So this time uh, again we start by differentiating the power. Um, the power is 3 halves, so multiply by 3 halves. Um, we keep this as it is. We subtract 1 from here, 3 over 2 minus 1. Then we're now going to uh, multiply by the derivative of this. It's going to be negative 6u squared. Then this and this we can multiply. So that's going to give us negative 9 uh, u squared, 7 minus 2 u cubed, um, minus 2 u cubed, all to the power uh, 3 halves minus 1 is 1 half. All right. Okay. Um, so we're now going to give you uh, an opportunity to have a go at uh, these uh, last two. So just uh, have a go at E and uh, F. Um, you uh, will want to pause the video and then uh, when you uh, continue or press play, then you can compare with our answers. All right, um, we are now going to scroll down to our <laughs> Solution of E and F. Um, so for E, the outer function um, or the outer power is 20. So start by multiplying by 20. We subtract 1 from 20, which gives us 19. Then, uh, and this is still exactly the same. And then we multiply now by the derivative of this, which is going to be 48 u to the power 5. 48 and 20 gives us uh, 2160 u to the power 5 is still there. It's still the same as that. Um, this one, uh, let's do it together. This is sort of disguised as a quotient. But actually, it isn't a quotient because there is no x in the numerator. Uh, yeah. 
So if the numerator does not have an x variable, then when you've got an expression like this one, uh, it's actually uh, just a um, composite function disguised as a quotient. So all we need to do is to uh, take this term and bring it to the numerator. So 1 minus 7x to the power 4, then minus 3 there. Then whatever uh, constant is here, it's just going to be multiplying that. In our case, it's 1. If this was 7, then the 7 would just be there. And of course, we know that constants, uh, just uh, or, or coefficients, constant coefficients, just go through the derivative process. And then now we just use uh, the chain rule as before. So I want to multiply by negative 3, which is uh, this uh, outer power. We are keeping this fixed at the moment. Then when you subtract 1 from minus 3, we're going to get minus 4. And then I want to multiply now by the derivative of the inner function. 4 times negative 7 is going to be minus 28. We subtract uh, 1 there. It's going to give us 3. And then negative 3 times negative 28 is going to give us a uh, positive 84 x cubed 1 minus 7 x to the power 4 um, this we can uh, write as a 84 x cubed all divided by 1 minus 7 x to the power 4 all to the power 4 all right so that's the end of uh, this video thank you for watching please do subscribe uh, so that you can get notified whenever we post new material like this um, and uh, please do subscribe like the page and uh, you can share with uh, friends that you know um, need uh, material of uh, this nature thank you